let's get into making this delicious quick and easy sharing nachos recipe guys hopefully you're gonna find this simple and easy to make for the whole family or just when you have friends around guys i've got some um tortilla chips um and i've got some um nat chips <laughs> i've got two kind one is um gluten free and one is not um so the tortilla ones are gluten free so i've got some coriander because i want to make some guacamole i've got my bell peppers i've got avocado i've got half an onion i've got red onion and i've got my jalapeno sliced one i really do like these jalapenos um they're so good they just bring a little spice i've got some tomatoes um cherries and full blown tomatoes all i'm gonna do now guys is i'm gonna blend everything so i'm gonna make my paste not paste but i'm just gonna make um chop all my peppers onion i'm gonna put it all in a blender guys this blender has been honestly the blender's been with me for such a long time guys if you want to see me unboxing this go and check out the vid but this is what i want to get i just want to kind of mix all the peppers together um into a nice paste the ones on the let on the side i'm going to just add them over the cherry tomatoes just mixing everything there is no order to this so everything just goes in one pot and that is going to be my base sauce for my nachos my tortilla chips okay and this is it right now right let's cook this up okay i've got my avocado oil which is my preferred oil perfect for frying and grilling so all we're gonna do is bam pull it all in there and that's literally gonna cook for about 10 to 15 minutes okay um 10 to 15 minutes if you don't want to use that much oil you can use less don't worry okay um i've got paprika peppers what else do i have i've got chili powder and i've got some um, garlic powder vegetable seasoning and i'm gonna add them all in there if you don't want to add vegetable seasoning and you just want to add salt guys you can but the vegetable seasoning is more than enough for me so i don't need to add any salt i'm just gonna you know enhance the flavors and we're gonna just stir and make sure that everything is all blended that's gonna cook to the side and let's chop our herbs so we're gonna chop our coriander and we've got the lime as well this right here is for the guacamole okay um this is for the guacamole very simple there's different variation of guacamole guys if you want to see me making guacamole um check out my video i've done one in the past but all i'm doing here i've got my lime and i've got my coriander um <laughs> and i'm just gonna make sure that i squeeze the juice out of it okay um i'm using free but you don't have to they're quite small so if you don't want it to be um zesty you know then you know use less but i like it zesty okay um <laughs> i like it quite zesty and you know you don't get a lot of juice out of the lime so there you go right let's move back so this is simmered down after about 15 to 20 minutes i would say so it's a nice simmer down so we're just literally going to put everything in a pan so i'm going to start with my tomato and bell pepper paste i'm going to put it all in there and i'm going to add the tortilla chips on top there is no right or wrong way of doing this guys you can do whatever okay absolutely do whatever you want but this is what i'm gonna do and i've got um i'm layering it so i'll put it on the base and on top then on the base and on top then on the base and on top <laughs> but yeah guys there is no right or wrong way of doing it this is just what i've i've done basically you know have fun with it i'm gonna chuck all these jalapenos in there because i like it spicy you know i like it spicy spicy so why not and i've got my mozzarella again guys this was the first time i actually used mozzarella um if you need to use some type of other cheese let me know and i'm just gonna put it in the oven for about five minutes just for the cheese to melt because the sauce is cooked the, the, the tortilla chips don't need much so just five minutes once it's ready we're gonna do our guacamole and serve up okay this is the finished product look of that you know look at that it's looking good 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 let me know what you think guys if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed make sure that you click on that subscribe button okay click on that subscribe button if you are a returnee guys thank you so much i love and appreciate you guys um if you are new and you want to subscribe 
please do subscribe to the channel okay um but yeah guys i bought these avocados they're so ripened and very very bruised but don't you worry like once it's all blended together it's gonna be absolutely fine okay so all i'm doing now is cutting all my avocado and i'm just gonna put it all in a mix together and mash them up okay so if you don't want bruised avocado and you're funny about your avocados being bruised then make sure that you don't get the bruised one clearly but because i knew i was just gonna blend it all together and i'm gonna eat it all together i just thought you know what i need soft avocados and i got them so here we go i'm just gonna add some coriander and i'm gonna mash it up well guys i'm not really gonna add any salt to this it's literally gonna be avocado coriander and the lime because the sauce um from the tortilla chips has a lot of flavor i want to minimize my soul intake so we're not doing too much over here but i will add my peppers um yeah the the the, the, the peppers just for like mm, that that extra kick and that's all i'm doing now i think i'm ready to serve up okay so this is what it's gonna look like brace yourself brace yourself okay um so i'm gonna start with the tortilla tortilla um, the, the the tortilla tortilla <laughs> right guys i ended up heating up the the other nachos chips um in the oven as well but yeah get a big scoop if you're having a movie night or you just want something light something fun if you want to make something fun this is a very very fun recipe okay so much fun and everybody can get involved i'm just gonna plate that up and i'm gonna look at that guys if i've used the wrong cheese let me know what cheese you would use for this recipe listen i just saw mozzarella and i thought okay it's cheese right <laughs> guys let me know what kind of cheese you would use for this recipe so maybe next time you know i can try a new cheese uh, but yeah so this is it and i'm gonna now add the guacamole on the side and everything will just merge in well together you've got the the nachos you've got the sauce you've got the spice everything so guys i really really hope you have enjoyed the video this is very full and delicious okay i'll see you guys next time if you want to see more content like this let me know and click the like thumbs up subscribe all of that jazz bye guys see you guys in my next video